So this worm farm, it's a video, it's a time lapse from the AV channel, and he's been worm farming for ages, vlogging about worms and doing all these amazing experiments and stuff. And he's got a few time lapses, and this one, 5 million views in three years. It's just absolutely incredible. And, you know, I'm interested in watching it. I've watched it before a couple of times, and I love seeing how the food disappears and how the worms move around and things. I'm really interested to hear what you think and your thoughts and what intrigues you about it. Have you watched it before? Do you watch the AV channel? He's a pretty good dude, I reckon, and he makes some great content. So let's put it on, and I'm going to run through it now. And, let's yeah, let's just go for it and start watching it, and we'll do – We'll talk about it on the way. So there's no sound with this. I'm just going to put it a little bit bigger. You can see the worms working in this top section here in the first day. And he's done such an amazing job. And if you look at the top part, you can see the, the worm castings moving around. And now they're spreading slowly across from the right to the left. So he must have dropped them in that corner here. Now, I haven't spoke to AV about this video at all, and I haven't watched it in years. So very interesting to see which way it goes. Now, I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm going to speed up in a little while and fast forward and see where they are. But you can see, look, I can hear them when I've got big volumes in my worm farms. You can hear this sound. It's the weirdest sound ever. Um, anyway, let's fast forward a bit and see where they are we'll go up to around about so <laughs> i'm being asked this a lot recently and we'll skip it right because i'm recording off the screen inside youtube you can see them now they're all moved across they're into this food area there's not many over here on the right where they originally started and as this food is starting to break down and gain some microbial habitat they're in there feeding on that and AV's done a great job of breaking it down and putting a whole, all these little tunnels and everything for them to sort of crawl through. And if you watch them go very fast, look at that. That must be a water bubble on something on top. Um, there goes another water on top. Yeah, yeah. So day eight. Let's go forward a bit more. Day 10. Okay, they moved back across. They pulled some of that material from the left to the right, which is very interesting, which shows that worms when they're burrowing and doing different things because compost worms still do burrow, right? They're moving through the system. They're pulling things across into their, into another habitat, which is really, really interesting. Let's keep going. We'll go up a little bit further and hopefully no more ads will appear guys. They're still decomposing. They're getting down further. So it's dropping down and AV has been putting water bottles. You can see or something on top there to help with the moisture. and I don't know, you wouldn't see any cocoons on day 13, day 14, unless some of them were already pregnant and then they were going to lay them later and they're very small. But there's about half on the left side and now half on the right because they've pulled that material across from the left to the right. I'm looking left to right and they're sort of disappearing a bit. Let's go a little bit more. Oh, look, they're right down the bottom here now. So they're feeding on this compost material in here as well that AV's put in here. And that obviously is attaching some microbes in it as it's being dragged across from the left to the right, little small pieces, and they're consuming it now. Now, I don't know exactly what's in this bedding here, but they eat the bedding. And so the bedding can sometimes be a better worm casting than the material. And they seem to be just as happy on left and right side. So let's go up to a few more days. I reckon day 21, and here we are at day 21. They look less active at the moment. I don't know why that is. It could be a weather thing. Day 24, look how much food has come down on the left side now. That's all sort of caved in, all that organic material, all the food scraps. And the bedding to the right has still got quite a bit of a tilt on it. Obviously, there's enough moisture in here now because it hasn't seen any more bottles sort of appear. And again, they're right down the bottom up into here and into the food scraps around about the same amount. So let's go on a little bit further. We'll go to day 28, I reckon. And there we are, 28 days later, we still don't have a full decomposed system. It can take a few months for something like that to fully decompose. 
uh, you know, generally my worm farms work on a three month cycle and you can see them. They're still moving around. They're very active in this material here, this waste here. A lot of this is just some carbon paper pieces left now. I reckon they've eaten all the bits of fruit and stuff. They've pulled it across to the right side here. There goes a little one burrowing through <laughs> the top. Here. Look, look, there's a hot burrow hole here. You can see them running along this same burrow hole here. Look, they must be sharing their habitat, their burrow holes. There's one that was just hanging here for ages. There'd be a few just, you know, breeding and wrapping around and getting ready to, to mate and stuff. And let's go on to day 32 there. And look, it's it's dropped down quite a bit, but you would really have to do a three-month one to see the whole thing decompose. And wow, that would be a lot of work, right? So we're right on day 35. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks, AV, for sharing that. Uh, that's just, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. And <laughs> really love it. And I'm sure plenty have seen that before. Well, 5 million, right? If you're into worm farming or you're just interested in it, let me know. What do you like about that that video? What what can you learn from watching it? And what can we share with others about studying the way compost worms work through that clear bit of glass like that? Great work again, AV. Head over to the AV channel if you haven't already. Check him out if you're interested in listening about all different types of worm, worm farming and experimenting stuff and his vlogs. Pretty interesting stuff. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you at the next video real soon. Don't forget to comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to Marty's Garden, please do before you go and check out the links and the comments and everything down there too because there's always plenty of cool stuff to be said. Bye for now.